everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie Wallace Fine Arts. Um, I'm here in my basement studio in Orlando, 4473, and it is Tuesday, um, July, uh, mm, I don't know, I have no idea, let me say, July 14th. Oh, it's voting day. Get out there and do some voting, okay? Um, today we're going to draw this, um, this uh, golden retriever, which is always like a favorite. Everybody loves a good dog, right? Um, well, you know, not everybody does, but lots of us do. Um, so let's go ahead and get, get going with it. Um, the thing about the dog is it has a nice tongue that's hanging out, which is what happens with retrievers all the time. Um, it has a big black nose and eyes that are a little bit smaller than the, than the nose. Okay, and it has lots of different colors in here. I'm sorry that I don't know who painted this picture. Um, I tried to figure it out, but I, I couldn't. I, I got this copy a long time ago. Um, it has all kinds of different colors in there. So it's fun because you can add those in there or you don't have to. I'm going to do one color and I'll do one in black and white. So the black and white one is going to be a little bit like a, um, you know, black black. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I wanted a cleaner. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. So I've got a really warm yellow here. Um, if you compare it to say the other yellow, you can see how this one has a little more orange in it. That's what I'm gonna start with. I'm actually gonna start, oddly enough, right here, okay? All of this stuff is really important. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that there. He does have his face turned just a tiny bit. That's why you can see a little bit of chin on this side, but you don't really see it on this side, okay? And maybe tilted just a little bit, which is cute. If you get, if that happens, that's great. If it doesn't happen, don't worry about it. Um, and this, so this part, top to bottom, this is a little more square than my piece of paper, but top to bottom, this is a, mm, a little below the middle, okay? But, um, so I'm going to find the middle of my paper. I'm going to go a little bit below there, and I'm going to start with a line like this, okay? So go ahead and do that. If you're using a pencil or uh, I'm going to use a charcoal, it's nice and dark. If you're using a pencil um, or a marker or something, um, go lightly because that's what you're going to, that way you can adjust things. Okay. You got that. The next thing I'm going to have you do is do a tongue because we're actually going to, so that the tongue doesn't wind up to be like, I mean, too small is one thing, but too big eh, is a little bit weird. So we're going to relate things to the top. I'll show you what I mean. So here it is. It's just basically a U shape, right? So I'm going to just U that out. Let's see. It's, I mean, if I went as wide, it's as, um, it's a little, about twice the size as it is wide, but I'm going to go like this. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the nose. And the thing you want to notice is that it's very, very, very close to the mouth. Okay, and for now, I'm just going to make that kind of a square. All right, I can make it with a little more shape afterwards. And the size of the nose is about a little bit more than half the size of the tongue. So if I measure a little bit more than the half the size of the tongue, I want to make sure that my, my nose is like that big. Okay, sound good? Let me see if I can make sure that I'm showing you. Make sure that I'm live. Yep, I see me so. I see my. I see me so. All right. Um. There's that. Okay. So far so good. We already know what it is. All right. Then we're gonna do the smiley part because what I want you to see is how close this line is to the side of the nose. It's pretty close. So if you make it way out here, it's not gonna be the same as if you make it going up. Okay. So it comes right off the lip and goes up. This is a little bit above the nose, right? So do that. This one, it doesn't go as high. It's more like this, okay? All righty, so it's gonna go like this, and it's gonna go like this, all right? Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark where the eyes are. And usually, or you know, I mean, on, I would have to say pretty much all animals, there's a connection between um, how your nose comes up and the eyes sit right in there. Okay. And if you have a wide snout, like a lion has a very, very wide snout, it spreads the eyes apart a little bit. 
okay? And if they're a little more narrow, like, like we are, then they're, and they're a little closer. So if I go right up the side of my nose, it's going to go like right there, the widest part. Okay, now the thing is that I have to figure out where, where the eyes are. I can figure out how far apart they are, but I need to know where. Um, and usually that's half the size of the head. What did I do before? I think I measured, actually measured the tongue. And it, from the top of the nose, that's right in the middle. Okay, so if I measure the size of the tongue that I have, and I go up, that's about here. So, and then I want to go as wide as my nose. So that's here and here. Okay, so this line in the middle, when I do it with black, I just don't, I don't really want, I want to, I want to imagine I see it more than I want to really draw it. Okay, and here and here. Now the other thing is that the, that, uh, that um, part of what makes the golden retriever cute is that it has um, a little more shape to the eyes than just a round circle. And we'll, we'll reinforce this later when we use a dark color at the end. But if you can see, it kind of goes up and down. It's almost like a house. Okay? And then inside is that round eye. Um, so if you can kind of go up a little bit, I'd do it on both eyes. And then down a little bit. And then kind of box that out, you'll find that will look a little bit more like a, a retriever. Okay, so a little bit up, a little bit down, and then more like a little box. Okay, we'll come back to it. Again, anything that's dark, it's easy to make, um, make it look big, bigger, okay? But it's harder to make, um, to color over something um, that's dark if you make it too big to start with. So, so you can start small. I don't know if I said that backwards. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to do is we want to mark where the side of the face, and this is the same thing if you're doing a person's face, okay, is that the, the distance from the side of your eyes to the side of your face is usually pretty close, okay? You might get a little wider on the cheeks, but usually right here you're pretty close. So, right here to here is really pretty close. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to mark it over here. Okay. Now, um, it tilts in just a little bit here. Okay. Like that. All right. And then, um, this is the other thing. Instead of, instead of just drawing down, I'm going to, I'm going to do this part of the chin right here. Okay. So in that, in this case goes about halfway down, down the tongue. All right. So it's about here, and I'm going to have a line that comes kind of like this, okay? Um, and I want to keep this, I want to bring this out wide because I need to have a pretty good size cheek in here. So then I can kind of connect here. This one's like this, and it kind of rounds out like that, okay? It seems a little bit weird. There's no thing here. You may, you may need a little something right here, okay? Let's see. So I marked close to the eyes, and then I'm going to tilt that in just a little bit, and then I want to take from the tongue, I'm going to go up, and I want to connect here, I'm going to connect here, and maybe I'll do a little, okay? Just like on a person's head, your eyes are usually about halfway, well, on a person's face, your eyes are halfway from the top of your head to your chin, okay? Um, on the dog, especially this kind of dog, usually the forehead's a little bit smaller, okay? But if I measure from um, the top of my nose to the middle of the eyes and I go up, actually, let me see, what is this, the bottom? Yeah, go from the bottom of the nose to the middle of between the eyes and then go up like this, and that's where you're going to make the top of his head. So it's not going to be super tall. It'll look a little funny if you do it super tall, but, um, you know, I don't think you want it here. Okay, just right up here. All right, and what happens is, is there's the, a lot of times those retrievers have a little pointy bit on the head. So if you find right in the middle of the nose, if you go up and that's your highest point, you can kind of go down a little here and down a little bit like this. All right? 
Okay, so I measured from the bottom of the nose to the middle of the eyes. And then I went up like this. Okay, now I want to line that, that dot up with the middle of my nose. Okay, and I'm going to go out like this and out like this. Actually kind of straight lines. Okay, you can round them a little bit if you need to, but. Okay, all right, now the ears are both a little bit different in this dog because, um, probably because he's turned a little bit, but you know, I don't know why. I mean, they, you know, they just, the hair is doing a different thing. Okay, so don't look at any of this one. We'll just look at this one for, for first, okay? And what I want you to see is where the tip of this ear is. There's this little triangle in here, and that triangle is called the negative space, okay? So I want you to think about that. Now this is starts right about the top of his nose. So if I go to the top of his nose and I come over here, I'm going to bring a line down. That's going to give me that little triangle in there, okay? Um, here, I come out from where this line is, like where his ear touches his face. And I'm, there's a little distance right here. So I'm out here a little bit, okay? And then this slants out a little bit. And that length of that line is like maybe the width of his tongue, okay? So measure the, measure the width of his tongue and see if it's like that. Okay, because everything, you know, you finally, you know, you want to rough in what's going on, but at the same time, you have to pick something and you want to compare everything else to it. And if the dog was really sitting there, um, I can tell you from experience, there's probably a little bit of moving around or whatever, and you, um, you know, you have to kind of go with your general rules. But because just like a person's face, a dog's face may um, be a little off the general, the like usual rules, that's what makes them look unique, okay? Like they might have a little bit bigger eyes or a bigger nose or whatever. Okay. All right. So there's kind of a fluffy part and then it gets straight. So if I go up like this, which goes pretty much straight up and then kind of like round this out, I'll have that here. Okay. And while I'm over here, let's mark this shoulder. So it starts up in the ear and it just kind of comes off the side. All right. Let me do that down here. So what I did was I went to the top of the nose. I went over here to the side of its face and made a little line so that I have a little triangle right in here. That's the negative space, okay? Then I'm bringing this out a little bit and then out like this, okay? And then I'm doing the lower half, which is just kind of a tall, skinny triangle. So I'll go up like this. And then this other part is kind of fluffy and rounds out, okay? All right, um, now let's go over here. Oh yeah, mm, let me do this too. Okay, bam. All right, so let's do the other ear and then we'll just be doing some coloring, okay? Um, this one is sort of a rectangle. Do you see it? Except it has a little thing up here. So we'll go here and you know, just try not to look at anything. You see that that kind of goes up and down, right? up, goes down, and then it goes out. Okay? And then this part right here is, you know, midway on the nose. So it's like over here, I'm going to go out about the same. And then it's going to have a jaggedy, a jig jaggedy line that runs up like this. Okay? And then this comes just down from that ear. I think I'll have to bring that out a little bit. That's going to be a big... My piece, of my, my piece of paper is kind of tall. I don't know, that might be, I had a, I had a lab that, so I'm gonna go up and down, name Nadine, and she had, she was kind of mixed breed, but looked pretty much like a black lab, um, and she had kind of a pinhead for the size of her body. So, this one might be kind of like that. Maybe, she, maybe I'm channeling her. Okay, so here, here, so I have this rectangular thing. Okay, and then I'll bring this down. This one doesn't seem quite as off. This one seems a little bit too much. All right, um, before I go with the coloring, I want to do a little bit of the background because when I'm all done, I don't do as good a job of coloring the background as I'm ready.
ready to be done. So I think I picked, <clears throat> I picked this blue. Um, let me grab the cloth. Ah, whoops, wipe out. <laughs> my, my windows were open when it rained and the rain came in and then it's been so humid that my floor <clears throat> is totally buckling. Like, do you know what that means? Like it's all crinkle, crinkle, crinkle all over my floor down here. And like, it's still so wet that I almost fell down. And can you hear that? It's all sticky. Drive me crazy. Drive me crazy. All right. All right, so I will wipe with this blue up. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with the blue just because, I don't know. I have a lot of these and, okay. And I have, I can use the side of it. All right, so pick something. If you wanna make stripes, you wanna make something. I mean, the one color that you probably don't want to color the background in is, that's right, don't use yellow. Because his head is yellow and then you're not having any co contrast of color. Okay, so you try that. Where we go, here and here and here and here. Um, I would love it if anyone out there has it in them to share their picture. I would love to see it. I don't see many pictures anymore. Feeling like maybe this has run its course for now. So, but that's still, that's fine. There's lots of videos you can watch on uh, YouTube. If this is not a good time, or if you're looking for something to distract you in the wee hours, or on a rainy day, it's definitely gray around here today gray and damp. Okay. So with this guy, I will do a little of this. I realized today that I've done a few dogs. I've got a little terrier one and the bulldog one from my pal Halsey. And, um, I do like dogs. I do love cats too. I don't have a cat right now because, partly because my daughter is allergic to cats, I think, and she doesn't really live here, but I don't want her to be uncomfortable when she, although she lives with two cats right now, so I don't know, I guess, I guess I can probably do it. Okay. All right, let's do some coloring then. So we're going to leave the dark things until the end, all right? Um, but we, I want, I, my plan is, let's see, I have, so either the color, actually I'm going to use all of these colors. Okay. I have a highlighting yellow. I have the yellow that we kind of use, which I think is kind of the general color. Um, I probably don't need this one. I have a little bit of a brownish one that I'm going to use as the sh shading. And then I might use a little of this because there's some places like right in here and here where it's kind of dark and it's also kind of reddish right down in here. Okay. So if you don't want to do that, if you just want to just color it yellow because you, you were excited and you just want to do it, go ahead and do it. It's fine. Okay. But if you want to um, do a little bit of different colors and shading and stuff, let's do that. Let's start with the things that are dark. How about that? So I'm going to take this rusty red one and I'm going to put it in the darkest ones. And the easiest way for me to see what's dark is by squinting. And I'm going to see that it's dark here, kind of on the side of the ear, and definitely over here. Okay. Maybe underneath a little bit. So it's not super heavy. Okay. In case that birthday girl, Sue Loritano is out there because I know she loves dogs and I also know she loves to color things really dark. Well, never mind. Okay, a little. That way you haven't saturated your paper so much that you can't get another color on there. All right, so maybe like right in here and here, uh, maybe around the eyes a little bit. I want to think a little bit about how this nose is a little lighter on the top. So if I bring a little, just like on a person, um, just another person, if you, you would have a 
very dark, but usually right in here. Okay, depending on the you know the person's face a little bit. So there is this is the other thing that's kind of happening is that from this mouth, there's a piece that kind of comes in like that. Because they have the face, but then your snout is sticking out a little bit, and it's a little flat on the front. So there's going to be just that feeling a little bit like that. Okay, well, right around there. Um, to make this not so boring, I'm going to do a little jig jag, jig jag, like that. Okay, there. Okay, there, there, there. Like I said, if I squint, the other place I'm seeing is right here on that cheek. Okay, so I'll put a little bit here. All right, so go ahead and do that, and I will do that with my black one down here. So probably I'll start right here between the eyes. I want to have that piece that curves up, maybe a little bit on this cheek. So we're kind of imagining there's light shining on the puppy's face from that side, okay? There we go. A little bit darker right in here. Um, there we go, like that. Put a little right here. Um, there we go, like that. All right. Um, I will take the gold one, the gold one, like this. We'll put a little of that on here. Okay, so this is kind of a brownish yellow, gold, okay, maybe a little here. If I can get those cheeks, all right, and here, the same idea, I'm connecting to the side here, so I'm going to have this piece that sticks out kind of like that, right in that loop down here. Okay, and there. Um, here. go um, if overall you can see that this is lighter than this part is okay so I could bring and when you do with fur um, or hair um, you want to color it in the direction it grows that'll help to make it seem like hair okay uh, maybe a little in here there we go a little up here Okay. Um, all right, and then, all right, so I should do that down below here too. Okay, whoops. Um, I'll put a little, actually then I was thinking about this being a black dog anyway, so. Okay, so it'll go a little darker here. Here, I just definitely wanted to get it around the tongue a little bit. There we go. You can see how, I think anyway, how this, this is a perfect example of how this lighter piece starts to come away from where the dark part is, okay? Um, probably down in here is going to be a little darker too, here. Okay, um, so I've got two yellows left. I've got a super bright one and then the one that I started with, okay? So I'll take the one that I started with, and I'm using um, oil pastels. I'm actually using Van Gogh brand oil pastels, which are pretty inexpensive, but I'm finding that they're really great. Um, I don't want to go, again, full tilt, 
I'm going to go over some of this gold, right? Um, we'll go light in here. here in the forehead. I want to be able to still put a little bit of highlight on there, so I'm not going to go too heavy. Okay, like that. Yeah, okay. All right, and then I'll take this light, light one, and where, I'm, where I know I'll be pretty light right here, on the top of his nose, maybe this side a little bit. On his forehead, head a little bit. Okay, maybe right out in the top of the ears. Um, over here. Okay. Um, I could probably go a little heavier in here then. Okay, so it's a little bit, a little hard to see, but you know, but you can see it okay. And then this one is you know, kind of a neat, a neat one to go from because she's really accent, or he has really accented everything with a really dark color. Okay. Um, so here, let's see what else I got left. So with this, what I want to do, because I don't want to get too heavy, it's the same thing. If you're drawing somebody with, with skin, I mean, people, people, cause they have skin is that if you color all over their face, if you're not super careful about it, it starts to look like there's it's hairy all over. So what I one of the tricks I always use for that is to find a place that I know things are pretty dark, like say like right in here. Okay, and what I do is I take that charcoal on my finger and that's what I use on the lighter places, okay? Because then it doesn't get all squiggly all over there. And then also the same thing will happen when I do the nose, okay? But like, you know, I could, I could go right in here a little bit and then use that. And you could always do it too, like out on the outside and then use that, okay? up along the way. Okay, all right. Before I forget, we want to do that great tongue, right? Okay, so what I've got is um, my pink, pink and pink, a nice pink, light, um, you know, pink, pink, chest pink, I mean colored pink. Okay, so I'm going to color this tongue in. If I color over the yellow a little bit, fine because it just will make it a warmer shade of pink. It won't make a yucky color at all. Nice. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then the other thing is, if you notice, is a little because his mouth is open, it's causing a little bit of a shadow. So if I can, I'm going to put a little with a little purple like right here. Okay? Pretty soon we're going to do those lips and that's going to help things out too. So you can put a little bit like that. Let's get a little bit kind of down this way there. Okay? So down here, um, overall the tongue is pretty light. But, uh, well, all right, let's do, well, I don't want to do that just yet. So I'll put this dark here and then I'll use that. Just to blend into the tongue a little bit. You know, he's got that little crease in the middle. So, okay? All right, now I think that I left my dark brown in the wrong place. Yeah, here I found it. Okay, I have a dark brown that I'm gonna use. Um, I'm also gonna use a black, let me think. Uh, I will do the black first, okay? And then I'll use this black, this dark brown for the rest of things. I would just, you know, so there are things that are black and there are things that look like they're black, but if you really looked at them, they're not as black as you think. Even this one, you can see that the nose is supposed to be black, but it's actually blue, okay? Um, that would be something that I learned from my teachers at um, Island School of Design and has always stuck with me. It's not something that every like painter or artist does. 
So I'm using a lot of black, but um, I've always been somebody that would use, I think you say diox dioxin purple, a super, super dark purple, um, Prussian blue, um, this like dark brown. Um, I can, you know, mix together, if you mix together everything you have that's dark when you're painting, except black, you will get a really dark color that's sort of nondescript, but um, it doesn't dull out your other colors, okay? All right, let's do it. So I need a black. All right, so when I do the eyes, um, I want to try and leave a little bit of a highlight, okay? So, in, and like I said, the outside has that funny shape, but inside is kind of round. Okay, so you can kind of round, but fill it up. Try to do both circles before you color them in so you can get them pretty close. Okay, um, if I put that circle a little up towards the top, oh, my sun is still drawn. Um, it should make it look like he's looking up a little bit. Okay, begging. Because, I mean, you know what a retriever does. There's a lot of begging in I mean, my dog will beg for popcorn and like snacks, although generally I don't ever feed my dog because my food is my food. But I've gotten a little soft. Um, but if, if there's food in her dish, she'll just leave it there. But I had like this dog, Nadine. There's no such thing. She'd probably like eat an entire, well actually she did eat an entire bag of food when I first had her. Entire bag. Yeah. You know, those kind of dogs that eat rocks and stuff. It's not a pit bull. It's a retriever. You know it is. They're super sweet and all that, but they eat rocks. I've had a, I've had a few dogs that don't. So we have a couple of cute eyes. Let's do this nose. So it has a little shape to it. Um, if you can, you could give it a little curve kind of like this. Then it goes out a little bit. All right. And it goes down. And then it kind of goes like that. So I'll give you a second. Try that. I'll do it down here too before, before we color it in. So it has a little bit of a round smile on the top. It goes out a little bit on either side. Okay, just a short piece. Doesn't matter if you get it just like that, but it might make it a little more interesting than just a little box. Okay. Um, and, you know, it is, I don't usually do too much with the nostrils because it can tend to look kind of piggy and just, just, can just kind of distracting. You have to get it just right or it does not look right. So I'll go pretty dark here. And then I'll just do this light. I could put the blue in here. Okay, and this one, there we go, there we go, okay, all right, um, let's do the, um, I think, I think now I will switch to the um, dark, dark brown, okay, and I still need this, okay? Um, you'll see what happens. You'll see that there's, you can see a little difference, but then the black means more because it's the black that I have and everything, there's not a lot of black. Okay, so we wanna do that little mark for the mouth. So it has a little connection from the nose to the mouth. This is super important, okay? And then it kind of rounds this way and rounds this way and you wanna overlap the tongue a little bit because that's gonna put the tongue inside the mouth, okay? Um, this connects on up, right? This one goes over right here, that line that we first started with, but if you need to change it, go ahead and change it. No one will ever know, okay? Has a little, that little mark. We are going around this tongue, I guess. Maybe a little lighter. One of the things you wanna to try to do when you're putting a bunch of lines is, is to vary the line quality, which means, um, you know, how, whether it's short and straight, or long and wavy or thick or thin or whatever, all those things you can do is, ma is to make your line different and that makes your picture more interesting, okay? There's a little dash of it right here, maybe a little here, okay? 
let's do these um, this shape around the eye and one of the things so you you might overlap the, the blue I mean the black a little bit and then I want you to see it has this little tiny piece that comes out the side okay so you bring that out and that will make it just look super cute just so you know if you want your dog to look cute if you don't if you want it to look mean and ferocious then um, maybe don't do that part I don't know okay let's do this and this is thicker right so you can go pretty heavy here there I thought maybe my uh, my dog would come down and hang out with me but probably because it's so damp down there and this, so I made this kind of smooth, and this I'm gonna make little pieces, and that makes it look furry, right? Okay. All right. We'll do this part. It's up here, and it kind of comes down. This one, what happened is it doesn't really show the cheek line so much as it it's darker out here in the ear. Like that. Okay. Um, we can put some little marks here. Ooh, 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 like that. What's left? Probably need to connect here. I might put this one here. I'm trying to get my things all to work. All right. Mm, maybe a little bit here. This one actually does have a little line up here, too. But I'm again, I'm going to go a little lighter and stuff like that. But you can see how the brown will vary its color a little bit because of the yellow underneath, right? So here, um, I'm going to try to go a little more uh, black. Try to make it look like it's a black dog for those of you that are going for that, okay? So, um, you know, I can go a little heavier. Parts where okay. Um, let's see. I know what I mean. Here it is. Okay. Um, I have one more class I think maybe for a little while um, on Friday night we're gonna do a pretty sunset that's looking over the ocean which I think you know so people will think sunsets and landscapes are hard but they're actually way more forgiving than a dog so um, if you have any thoughts about giving it a whirl, try out a landscape, because it is really, especially when there's nothing in it, like no, um, uh, oh, no, um, buildings or anything like that, although I do, I do have some classes with, like, little camps and buildings, which are, um, step by step, you can follow right along, and it's worth giving it a try, because it, because it's, it's fun to be able to see how easily you can use perspective to make something um, stand out. So right here I need to take a little, oop, a little off so that I can have him have his chin. So I have to go a little lighter here and then I can go darker right around in here. And that way you can see that part of his face. You know, same thing here. You have to decide whether you want the ear or the, um, the neck to be darker it would make sense for the ear to get a little lighter so I can lighten my ear up down here on the tip and that way I can see the difference between when you erase sometimes you erase more than you need to I'll erase that a little bit and then I'll have that little bit of the ear that hangs down obviously the tongue shows up really well right um 
you might find too, if, say I watch, watch if this goes a little bit darker, it helps to make the top of the nose, and watch it if I make, if I erase this, it will start to make the top of the nose kind of stick out, right? And then you have that part where it goes flat, sticks out, and then flat down again, right? Kind of see that. Um, if I did that on the top of his head, if I go kind of light here, and then I take my black, and instead of having this dark line, I take that dark line, and I make that the background. All right, go right, connect right to it. <clears throat> Don't leave a space. We want to get rid of that line. And then you can see how that gives. He's got kind of a pointy head, but let me see if I round that out a little bit. Right? See how that makes the top of his head really show up and glow? That's what you, how you do that. Take this off. Maybe a little bit here. You know, even if you don't have a kneaded eraser, just a regular eraser will make a difference. If I get a little lighter here on the tongue. Right? Like that. A little lighter here on the top of his ears. You can see those. Um, same thing, like if I go right here and I get nice and dark around this ear, right? That's how we see that ear, even though it's dark, you can still see it because we've made the, what's around it blacker, okay? Um, Um, on this side, um, if I lighten this a little bit, okay, and I'll do the same thing. I'll kind of cut in and out like that and connect that, right, like this. That's how you do it. close-up of the picture so you can finish yours up and um, add other crazy colors if you want to and um, like I said I'll see you on Friday night at 8 o'clock um, for a landscape and then um, that might be it for just a little while because um, like I said I think maybe uh, you know maybe it's running its course people want to do some other things okay thank you let's see if I can do it without unplugging it there we go there it is. All right. There's that. And that's a little charcoal. All right. Thank you.